part, everybody. So there's been something that's really been bothering me ever since I got the Link Mobile system. And I'm going to share that with you today. And I'm not just going to share a complaint. I actually came up with solutions. So check this out. So when I first got the Link system, one of the things that I was really excited about was having a compartment or bins where I would be able to store things and really have a nice organization system that I could store everything with when it came out. I, well, I found it didn't really have anything, so um, I took it upon myself to kind of come up with a different solution. And this is my different solution. These are the bins. Now, this isn't something that you would say is, you know, anything in particularly special. However, um, I wanted to find something that wouldn't spill. Now, with these typical bins right here, with these bins, they sit down in the bottom. They have these little triangles. And they're supposed to sit in these little diamond shaped things. It never works. Things fall out of them. And when it sits flat against this, this is more of the skeleton look. You can see it, things are just going to go inside and they're going to fall out. So it's really ineffective. So I had to come up with a system that I was able to go ahead and organize these. And I needed to come up with bins that worked as well. And as you can see, we take a look here. I have my drills. I have my bits. I have my tape measure. Now I have my little area light, it's my, one of my favorite little lights, and it works out really nice because I can roll it in, I can pick it up, things stay in place. Now the cool thing about it is, these slide right down in place, and some of these, if I put this back, let's pick this up, I actually have little trays that go inside so you can have multiple levels. Now these are three and a half inch by three and a half inch, so I'm able to fit three and a half inch screws down inside there, which you know, I'm pretty happy with, um, and that provides me a lot of versatility. This sets right down on top of it. Um, this works out really well for the electrical bin here because I have my orange and red, and then I have my yellow in the bottom, which I use the most of. So that sits right here as well. And the cool thing that I like about it is that I can close it just like this. do this with it, set it back down, and it's all in the same space. The reason why it doesn't go anywhere is because I took this underlayment, I cut it out to the right size, I laid it here, I put the bins right here, and it lays right on top of them flat, um, and it's, it's it doesn't put so much pressure that it actually lifts off the seal, it's just very gently on top of them, so it works out really well. Now you're going to ask, well, why don't they move around at the bottom? Well, I did something very, very simple, and I'm just going to move these out of the way so you can see. Okay, so this is a better angle. You can see where all of these sit right down inside of there. So they just sit, so they don't move, they don't kind of go around. And they're in there pretty tight as well. So you just place them in, no problem. And then you go on your way, and they don't fall out. Now. I'm going to show you one of the key features about this that I was super excited about. Well, I actually designed it to where I have the little link on the bottom of it, as you can see right there. And that just slides right into place. So now you can do this. It's not going anywhere. Now, of course, if you do it too far, these are going to fall out. These are just three and a half inch decking screws. But the same for the electrical. You know, um, it slides right in. It's there. It's not going anywhere. Uh, you know, but it is directional and I figured if you're on a job site and you wanted to throw a few of these in Even if you were just at home. I mean this works out really well You can take this put this one kind of slide it over in there. You're not going to have any issues So so I really thought that this would be something very useful and it kind of solves for that problem of not having organization So I think the practical use of them actually is pretty nice But let's throw these to the side and let's get an empty one so you can see what it looks like Okay, so this is an empty one you can see inside right here what that looks like. It's just clear and empty. The measurements are, uh, just like I said before, it's three and a half inches is the opening at the top. Um, and that's three and a half inches square, but you probably want to know how deep is it. Let's see here, that is three inches deep as well. So you have, it's three inches squared by three inches deep. And then you have your link on the bottom side, which works out pretty well. And it's pretty stable, just on a regular surface. So to give you an example, this is just like a table. You know, it's not going anywhere. It's, it's not tipping over. And the reason why it doesn't tip over is because I actually extended the link 
all the way to the edge on both sides so you do have four points here so it's going to set on a regular surface as well so I just thought that this was a you know a good practical thing that's going to help me out because I wanted a box that I was going to be able to store everything in and then just go on my own little merry way with all my projects that I have going on for that particular day so now I can take this to anywhere I really want to um, I'm able to use it as kind of like its own little uh, self-contained home improvement system but I figured you could just close this up you can take it put it right on top where it locks in and then everything's right in place just as you left it or if you just want to take this you can so anyways like I was saying, it's just something I really wanted to do to make my life a little bit easier um, and to provide something that's kind of thinking out of the box, no pun intended, and maybe it would help somebody else in order to have these and the methodology I used in order to implement. So if you all are interested in one of these, I'll post a link to my store down at the bottom. Also at my store, I sell shirts and hats and a few other 3D, 3D printed items that I think that kind of help out the community. Um, so you can check that out. They're not astronomical. I try to make them as cost-effective as possible for everybody to use them. This is not my full-time job. It's just something I do for fun. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next video.